Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IHG Delft Institute for Water Education. I often get the question how to add strala orders to a vector river system. In other videos, I've showed how to derive the strala orders from uh, a digital elevation model. But sometimes you have a vector layer with rivers and you want to add the strala orders. In this video, we'll use data from OpenStreetMap that we'll download and we select the river system. And on the way, you'll see some uh, vector editing tools that we need to do. And we're going to use a new plugin, the lines ranking plugin. So let's get started. Let's first install the quick OSM plugin, which we can use to download uh, the rivers from OpenStreetMap. You can use this tool to download anything that is on the OpenStreetMap as vectors. So after installing the plugin, you find it in the vector menu. And for the rivers, we use as a key waterway and value river. And I want it within the layer extent of this uh, catchment boundary. And I want the rivers as lines. Run the query. If you have a slow connection, you can increase the timeout. Okay, the rivers have downloaded. As you see, it's not exactly what we need, so we need to do some editing. First of all, we need to select all the rivers that are within our catchment. There are different ways of doing it. You can also clip it, but here I'm going to show how to select it by the name in the attribute table. So there's a name field and I can use this uh, select by expression. And then we use the name field. And if I click all unique, I get all the unique names there. And the river that we're looking at is called the Ruhr. So I will add everything that is, is having Ruhr in its name. And I can add to the current selection and so build up the selection. It's a transboundary catchment, so the name of the river is also uh, in another language. In Dutch, it's uh, Ruhr with OE. So we're also adding those to get a complete selection. And there are some parts that uh, we are missing. And we can look up the name with the identify tool. So that's the Urft. So we extend the selection to also include those. Olaf. And the Inde. And the Worm. The big fleece. Then we still need to do some manual corrections, and this depends on your expert knowledge of the area and what you consider part of the river or uh, not. Another way of doing this is to um, add also the streams from OpenStreetMap, uh, but there are a lot of little streams here, so that would be uh, maybe much more work. So be creative in what GIS techniques uh, you use. Here we're just going to do it manually and uh, add selections, inspect the river and correct uh, the errors. So if I want to add this one, I keep control uh, pushed and then select the segments that I want to add. You need to be zoomed in a bit if you want to do that properly. Now important issues are these where we have these loops and you need to remove this. So you need to choose what you see as the main uh, branch of the river and then uh, deselect them in the same way. So keep control pushed and then uh, the selection button. And it's important to inspect the whole river for these things. So let's see what's happening here. There's a loop. If I select, deselect this part, it's part of the downstream and here it's part of the upstream. So here we need to split the line so we can um, deselect the different segments. We go to editing mode, click on edit, and I choose split features. Now I have split the features. I save the split and there with the selection button I can then see which ones I need and then we do that for also the other loops until we have a corrected data set based on our expert knowledge, what belongs to the river and what doesn't, but there should not be loops. 
So I'm going to add OpenStreetMap here um, because some parts are missing and I want to extend the river for those parts. So here we see our little uh, yellow line in the river and we see that there it goes underground. And I toggle to editing mode and then I can select a node and I want to connect these nodes. It's always good to uh, switch on the snapping. So I add here the snapping toolbar, switch on the snapping to the vertices. And uh, I select and you see that little plus, that means that you can extend if you use the plus sign. And then I can snap it to the other vertex and connect them, click. And there our line is added. Save the edits. And we continue the checking. In the same way we add other missing parts. And then we export the selected features to a new file. Call it river selected. So adjust the projection. And there's our selected river system. But you see that there's still a problem that the different uh, tributaries are not distinguished. That uh, relates to the way this is uh, digitized. So now we're going to first dissolve the river into one feature. Now the whole river is one uh, feature. And then we're going to use a tool to create uh, the different tributaries and uh, rank them. And the tool is uh, a new plugin, the lines ranking plugin. Install the plugin. It's wise to uh, save the project at this point. So let's zoom in a bit to um, the outlet and I use this uh, icon to start the lines ranking tool. And then I can click on an outlet and it will uh, process it. I could also use a point layer, but I don't uh, use that here. I just click on uh, on the outlet and it does the ranking. And to see the result, I'm going to use labels for the rank field that was added by the tool. And here we see that every tributary got uh, a rank. And now uh, we need to uh, renumber those to the Strahler orders. So I open the attribute table and toggle to editing mode. I'm going to add a new field that I call Strahler. It only needs a length of two because we will not go further than 99 orders, much less effect. So here we have our field edit. And here you see that the segments can be uh, selected as a whole segment. There's still some uh, glitches that you need to correct, like here. So make sure that you remove that before you do this procedure. But for now, I'll just continue. So I've selected all the Strahler 1 orders. Those are from the springs. Another issue. And I'm going to update the Strahler order with this button, modify the attributes of all selected features. And then down we find the Strahler. And here I can type 1 to set all those selected features to Strahler order 1. Check it in the attribute table. 
change it to selected features and now we see that they're all one Let's do the same for uh, Strala Order 2 and for Strala Order 3. Helps if we uh, put the Strala orders already as uh, labels so we can see how far we are. Save our edits and select everything. And here's the result. All the Strala orders. Now it's uh, probably possible to uh, adjust that uh, plugin and the script that's behind it to also classify the Strala orders. But that's maybe something for the future. Also note that the plugin works from version 